I recently stopped off at the Shifty 838 website and I noticed he had four of these interface cards for sale, but they didn't last very long, so I was lucky to get one on number three, but I noticed it didn't ship right away. Well, it was a good thing I logged into Heatwave BBS because I was at the tail end of a pre-order, so, you know, the wait didn't seem to be very long. Anyway, after you buy it, he uh, sends you an email and there's a link right there to a, a manual. And it's a pretty pretty decent manual, actually. So I decided uh, to give it a shot and print it up. This is what mine looks like. Now, I'll tell you right away that half of this manual, actually over half of this manual, is dedicated to the cable between the two. So if you're not very good at soldering or your fingers are kind of like mine with arthritis and you just can't do it anymore I highly recommend you buy the cable too see what I mean anyway it only took four days to get here once he shipped it so I decided, okay, why not show everybody how he packs? And actually, it's packed pretty well. Now this cable here is different than your normal TI cable. And when I originally bought this, I was thinking something totally different. So I didn't buy the case for the the second part that hooks up to the TI itself which was my mistake anyway this card here that you're looking at is what goes in the peripheral expansion box what's really cool about it is it's got a USB cable and you'll see what I did with it at the end and there's two uh, plugs on it for fans if you choose to use them now this is what goes to the side of the TI and the cable hooks up. Now this, this cable uh, or this card can also have a 32K uh, attached to it. I decided not to get that because I have a one megabyte SAMS card in my peripheral expansion box. Okay, turn on the peripheral expansion box and you notice that light that came on over the keyboard? That's what I use the 5 volt USB power output for. Okay, so now, of course, you got to test everything. Make sure it works between the peripheral expansion box and the TI. So I figured I'd log on to Heatway BBS, make sure everything's communicating properly. And from the looks of it, it is. So we're good to go.